is more about clarity, and I probably have the answer to the question already, and it relates to something you said before. In the middle of the night, I woke up, I decided I wanted to know what was behind the doubt. And I related to the tan uh, to everything had to be tangible, and if I received anything, I would run the other way, etc. I went into all the pain, or some of the pain that I experienced as a kid, and the lack of trust. No one was there, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. And I felt that pain for about two and a half hours, and uh, I guess what I've done is I've. I've had faith, I've allowed the emotion to be there, mm -hmm. I've allowed truth to be shown to me and I've put it all into action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the question? So be careful it of the stories, clarity. Jennifer. It, was, is, a, it was a clarity. So what's the question though? That sounds like what I've done, yes, <laughs> no. <laughs> so you want reassurance? Oh, this am is I your going addiction, back to right? Doubt again? <laughs> you want reassurance. Why do you want reassurance? Um, I might lack faith in myself. Um, you, you want me, a male, to tell you that yes, you're right. Why do you want that? There's obviously a group of emotions there, isn't there, that you want... Well, I never got it from Dad. <laughs> you never got it from Dad, so... I didn't get it from Dad. Okay, so there's a start. I didn't get it from school, I didn't get it from Mum, I didn't get it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you've got to be careful of these things, Jennifer, because it, these are the kind of things that really waylay you. It's the addictions involved. You know, a person who's truly wanting to experience their emotions fe feels their addictions. Your question is totally driven by addiction. Okay. It's not a question. It was a statement you were trying to make and then you were trying to get approval from me for it. And that is an example of you not addressing that particular emotion. You follow me? Mm -hmm. You're desperate, in desperate need for somebody to just give you the approval. Okay. Right? That's not a question either. Right. right. And so you had no intention of asking a question. So I'm not attacking you. You just had no intention of asking a question yeah. because this addiction need to be fed. This addiction of, I did this process, now I want to know whether that's right. right. Mm. So there's an addiction of wanting to be right, and you want to hear from a male that you were right, and, and so what can I do? If I love you, what can I do? Affirm. <laughs> Affirm. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 in, in God's truth. Right. Well, yeah, ironically, no, you your first feed. answer... <laughs> It's more what you feel. You don't feed it. Exactly, yeah. but your first answer is more what you feel. Yeah, okay. You, you do want a male to affirm that's the addiction, you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. You do want that. So, so it's, it's good to acknowledge that, that, yeah. that, and that's an addiction. So therefore, that's going to prevent you from having faith in God and it's going to prevent you from accepting truth. Okay. Because you want the addiction met. Okay. Have a male affirm that what I did was the right thing. Have a male affirm that I didn't make a mistake. And it, what if I had said, no, that's not right? What would you have done? I would have been confused. Correct. You'd go straight in the doubt because, because yeah. you want... And that's not what we're talking about here. You can tell me that I'm wrong and mm -hmm. if I've got a connection with God and I've got real faith and I know I went through a process and I believe that I went through that process and I know I have, you're not going to be able to tell me that I'm wrong. Yeah. But I can yeah. tell you, uh, you are. Right? That's a problem, right? Yeah. That's a big problem. Because that means that somebody comes along, tells you you're wrong, and you'll go and do something else. Yeah. Right? Can you see that? Um, I'm if somebody who you out. believe in a state of authority tells you that you're wrong, yeah. you'll be tempted to believe that you were wrong. With this emotion, yeah. this is the this is the problem with that addiction. I put too much faith in authority. You no, no, like you, what you're doing is you're not trusting your own experience, and you want affirmation from another person yeah. that your own experience was valid. 
Now, what I would do under those circumstances is trust that God will tell me that this experience was either valid or invalid. Yep. God will tell me. Yes. Right. I don't need you to tell me. Yep. God will show me. Yep. When my belief is false, God will show me. You follow me? Yes, I do. And all I've got to do is be open to that. Okay. So rather than you being fixed on getting the validation from a person, you want to be fixed on getting the validation from God, don't you? Yes. Because he's the yep. one who's educating you. Yes. Yep. The, the, you've got to take a lot of care doing what you've just done because it, it's a very damaging thing to, to your relationship with God because it means that you're basically a will-o'-the-wisp. You know what I mean by that? You'll get pushed yeah. here and there by the wind and, it just, and whoever blows the hardest is where you're going to go. Isn't that a sort of a sum total of your life? That has been a very large part of my I've had to learn to trust myself and I didn't trust that. No. Yeah. So you've still got that problem, so we need yeah. to work your way through that. Does that okay. make sense? Yes, it does. Thank yep. you. Okay, well that's uh, our half hour on faith. <laughs>